Chapter 336 Blood Soul Puppet The top of the mysterious Black Yin Mountain was a mess. Although there were the Great Devil Sect, Martial Alliance, and other factions to uphold order, below was ghastly Puppet City and news of the changes above naturally swiftly spread down, immediately causing riots in the city. Some of the more vicious characters directly started to rob the ghastly puppet cult's various stores. Since the ghastly puppet cult was completely finished, if they did not act now, when else would they act? Mule and the rest did not have any solutions to this chaos. After all, there were too many people in the city, and the troops they brought along was not very numerous. Hence, they did not have any way to maintain order and thus could only close an eye to the situation. In any case, it was already completely over for the ghastly puppet cult, what they needed to think about was how to split the ghastly puppet cult's territory. While the entire mountain was in upheaval, Lin Dong entered deep into the mysterious Black Yin Mountain alone. Beside him, Little Flame closely followed. Previously, Lin Dong had given this fellow over 10,000 pure Yuan pills, the vigorous energy allowing Little Flame's wounds to swiftly recover by quite a lot. There seems to be something strange in this mysterious Black Yin Mountain. Little Martin appeared on Lin Dong's shoulder. The deeper they penetrated, the more it seemed to sense something. Yet, yeah, there is indeed a special area within this mysterious Black Yin Mountain in Tang Sha's memories. Lin Dong smiled a little while quickly following the secret path into the mountain. This used to be an important place to the ghastly puppet cult, and even some elders were not allowed to enter. Yet, now that Tang She had died, the guards here naturally dispersed, thus nothing hindered Lin Dong as he entered the cave-like tunnel. A man and two beasts walked in the somewhat dark tunnel, while waves of gloomy and cold chi continuously gushed out from the cave. However, this kind of cold chi clearly was of no threat towards the Lin Dong and Little Flame who had spent a long time in the mysterious Black Yin crevice. Hence, they did not stop as they followed the tunnel and continued to penetrate deeper into the enormous mountain. This silent journey lasted for several tens of minutes. The mysterious Black Yin mountain was extremely extensive, and according to their estimation, Lin Dong and Gang should be gradually reaching the center of the mysterious Black Yin mountain. We're here. Some light suddenly appeared in the passage ahead of them as Lin Dong's feet stopped and the Yuan power in his body swiftly started to churn. He had a cautious nature and would naturally not be careless in this kind of place. Roar. Little Flame also released a low roar as scarlet light flickered on its body. The scarlet python on its back also lifted its body as a formidable cold chi gathered at its mouth. After finishing all their preparations, Lin Dong once again lifted his foot. Soon after, the space before his eyes suddenly widened, the narrow tunnel disappearing as an incomparably humongous stone cave took its place. The surface area of this stone cave was extremely tremendous, and measured at least a thousand meters. Compared to the plaza on the mountaintop, it was several times more spacious. Countless night light pearls were embedded in the walls of the stone cave as a gentle light enveloped the place. Lin Dong's gaze swept across the stone cave before pausing at the center where an enormous pitch black cave lay. Jets of astonishing yin chi shot out from within like a fountain. These cold chi rose up in the air before finally escaping through some of the holes above. So it turns out that the ghastly puppet cult's natural cold chi protective screen is formed from the cold chi here. Upon seeing this scene, astonishment instantly flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Dong there seems to be something inside the black hole, Little Martin looked towards the pitch black cave that seemed to connect to the underground and said. Lin Dong nodded his head. The top of his foot pushed off the ground and he landed on the edge of the humongous black hole, his pupils instantly tightening as he cast a glance inside. Darkness filled the humongous cave, but this kind of darkness was of no use towards Lin Dong. Thus, the scene within was clearly taken in by his eyes. The first things that entered his eyes were giant chains that were even larger than a human's body. These chains were attached to the surrounding cave walls and there were rows of strange symbols on them. Due to the existence of these symbols, the chains immediately became somewhat peculiar as thin rays of light shuttled back and forth on the chains, as if they possessed some form of intelligence. 
Lin Dong's eyes paused on these giant chains for several seconds before he suddenly turned towards the place where all the chains interweaved, only to find a completely red figure seated in the darkness. The figure's four limbs and neck were firmly bounded by the chains, and every time the lights on the chains flowed to the blood-colored figure's body, the latter's body would slightly tremble. This is... Lin Dong stared in shock at the blood-colored figure which had been bounded tightly by the giant symbol chains. It was hard to imagine that there was actually such a strange sight within the mysterious Black Yin Mountain. Although he had obtained some of Teng Sha's memories, that fellow seemed to especially fearful of this scene, resulting in Lin Dong being unable to acquire these memories. The figure's body appeared blood red in color, as if it had been dyed in endless fresh blood. Although it did not move, a ruthless and fiendish sky shattering aura faintly spread out. Such terrifying power! As he felt the terrifying fiendish aura that circled around the figure, Lin Dong's expression abruptly changed. Who exactly was this blood figure? Why was it trapped here? Could this have been done by the ghastly puppet cult? That's not a person, it's a symbol puppet. However, just as Lin Dong's gaze flickered, Little Martin suddenly exclaimed. Symbol puppet! Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong instantly shivered. What kind of symbol puppet could be so terrifying? Compared to this blood figure, even his high-class symbol puppet would be akin to ordinary goods. This is a soul puppet. In Little Martin's eyes was a hint of shock. Evidently, it was somewhat astonished that a soul puppet would appear in this place. Soul puppet! Lin Dong was stunned. Soon after, his expression started to fluctuate a little. He had known that there were the even stronger soul puppets above the high-class symbol puppet, but that grade of symbol puppet was not easily created. It was said that a true soul puppet possessed its own consciousness and was practically like another type of life form, and absolutely not an emotionless puppet. Although Lin Dong had never personally seen a soul puppet before and did not know exactly how powerful it would be, he now knew that at least under the Nirvana stage, no one would be a soul puppet's match. How can the ghastly puppet cult possess a soul puppet? If it was truly so, couldn't Teng Xia have just directly summoned it? Lin Dong asked in a low voice. Ha, this soul puppet does not belong to the ghastly puppet cult. How can a tiny ghastly puppet cult put together such a powerful formation? This soul puppet should already have existed before the ghastly puppet cult appeared, it was likely merely Teng Xia's good luck to have established the sect here. Possibly, that fellow chose this spot because he knew of the soul puppet's existence, and planned on finding a chance to subdue it for his use. Little Martin let out a strange laughter as it explained. Oh! Lin Dong was a little taken aback as he lowered his head and took a closer look at the dark hole. Only then did he discover that not only were there symbols on the chains, even the walls were covered in rows of symbols. These symbols should have existed for a rather long time because some of them had already become much dimmer. Although the symbols were dim, Lin Dong could still sense the great power contained within them. Given the ghastly puppet cult's strength, they were indeed unable to set up this kind of ceiling formation. Looks like it was truly as Little Martin had said, this mysterious soul puppet had existed even before the ghastly puppet cult. Why did those people want to seal this soul puppet? It would be a great aid after all. Little Martin stared at the blood figure seated in the darkness and was silent for a while before suddenly answering, because it is a blood soul puppet. Blood soul puppet. Lin Dong was taken aback. There are many ways to create a symbol puppet. One of the most cruel ways is to directly refine a live person. This method is vicious but the symbol puppets created this way are mostly filled with overflowing anger and will very likely devour its master, this is a blood soul puppet. Look at the blood color on this soul puppet, it should be composed from concentrated blood. TCH TCH how many people could this soul puppet have killed to become like this? Little Martin clicked its tongue and said. If let loose, this thing will go on a killing rampage. It's practically a disaster, hence, being sealed here is logical. So dangerous. Lin Dong's eyes turned serious. If that was true, this blood soul puppet was indeed too dangerous. 
if it was really let loose, the great desolate province will be in a terrible situation. Lin Dong did not doubt that this blood soul puppet's strength was enough to sweep the entire great desolate province. No wonder Teng Sha did not dare to do anything. He must be afraid that if this thing was let loose, he would be the first to be killed. Lin Dong softly sighed and felt a somewhat regretful. If he could subdue this terrifying thing, it would truly be akin to having a protective amulet for himself. At that time, even if wanted to take on existences on the level of four great clans by himself, he would not have much to fear. Let's go, we need to destroy the passageway, or else, it will be troublesome if other people enter. Lin Dong shook his head, intending to turn and leave. Wait. However, little Martin waved its claws. When it saw the puzzled gaze Lin Dong shot at it, it let out a strange laugh and said, Isn't it a pity to let go of this super fighter that was practically sent to our doorstep? You have a way to subdue this blood soul puppet. Upon hearing little Martin's words, delight suddenly gushed up in Lin Dong's eyes. I do not, but, it has. Little Martin's claw suddenly pointed towards Lin Dong's palm, or one might say the mysterious stone talisman embedded within. Chapter 337, Acting Decisively Do you mean, the mysterious stone talisman? Lin Dong's eyes turned to look at his own palm while he was slightly taken aback. Promptly, he quickly regained his senses while delight swiftly gushed into his eyes. Yes. Little Martin nodded its head before it said, the mysterious stone talisman is filled with mysteries. Based on its strength alone, it is able to seal the blood soul puppet. In the future, if you continue to train with it, you can probably subdue it. Are you certain that we are able to seal the blood soul puppet with the strength of the mysterious stone talisman alone? Lin Dong gripped his palm before he involuntarily asked. This was no laughing matter. At that time, if he truly released the blood soul puppet and he was unable to seal it, then he would probably become the first casualty of that blood soul puppet. Even though I am not totally confident, I believe that we have at least a 70% chance. Little Martin hesitated for a moment before it said. If you can advance to Nirvana stage, you can easy activate the stone talisman and seal this blood soul puppet. When he heard its words, Lin Dong involuntarily rolled his eyes. If he was at Nirvana stage, he would no longer have to fear this blood soul puppet. Nonetheless, he felt slightly uncertain when he heard from Little Martin that there was only a 70% chance of succeeding. After all, if he did not handle this matter properly, it would probably cause a huge problem. Even though he was powerful enough to fight against an advanced manifestation stage practitioner, in front of this peculiar blood soul puppet, his battle ability is probably nothing much at all. Kid, everything has its risks. If you can subdue this blood soul puppet, there would be hardly anyone in the entire Great Yan Dynasty that can threaten you. Even though you managed to defeat Teng Sha, based on my estimates, that fellow is probably just an average advanced manifestation practitioner. You have trained inside the mysterious Black Yin crevice for half a year. In this half a year's time, I believe that Lin Langtian should have already advanced to initial manifestation stage. In fact, since he has the backing of the wealthy Lin clan, I would not be surprised if he had already broken through to advanced manifestation stage. Little Martin's eyes were slightly solemn as he stared at Lin Dong and said, Furthermore, let me tell you this. Previously, I felt an extremely peculiar sensation hidden deep within his body. That fellow is definitely no ordinary man. Even though your strength has surged significantly, if the two of you really fought, the outcome would still be uncertain. What is inside his body? Lin Dong's face gently changed. Little Martin had never told him about this matter. I am not certain as well. I only felt it for an instant when, when we were in front of the martial manifestation tablet, before that sensation immediately slipped away. Therefore, even I am not certain of it. Perhaps it could just be a mistake. Nonetheless, it's always best to be prudent. Little Martin deeply echoed. This Lin Langtian not only possess extraordinary cultivation talent but he possess extremely good fortune as well. 
therefore, it is not impossible that he would have had a chance encounter over all these years. Furthermore, with the full backing of the Lin clan, notwithstanding the younger generation members, even in the entire Great Yan dynasty, most factions leaders could not hold a candle to him. Right now, you and Lin Langtian have completely fallen out. When you go and attend the next family meeting, he would surely make a move on you. However, if you can subdue this blood soul puppet, you would have nothing to fear. Lin Dong was silent while his eyes glimmered. Originally, he believed that after he obtained the devouring ancestral symbol, his strength had surged tremendously and this would allow him to easily dismiss Lin Lang Tian. However, after hearing Little Martin's words, he finally realized that he had underestimated his rival. Furthermore, even if Lin Langtian had not reached advanced manifestation stage, his strength would surely not lose out to Tang Sha. At the very least, in front of the manifestation martial tablet, Lin Langtian also obtained a powerful manifestation martial arts. Furthermore, what caused one to be most wary of him was that no one knew how many manifestation martial arts Lin Langtian actually had. Based on Lin clan's status in Great Yan Dynasty, Lin Dong would not believe they did not actually possess a few manifestation martial arts. In that case, Lin Longtian's battle ability would be truly terrifying. If Lin Dong fought with him, it would be like a battle between two tigers and it would be extremely fierce. Moreover, the most important thing was that Lin Langtian was the most prized genius in Lin clan's history. If he chose to fight with Lin Langtian, he would likely encounter some resistance from within the Lin clan. At that time, Lin Dong would need an ace up his sleeve to suppress the Lin clan. Right now, this mysterious blood soul puppet was a practically a god-given gift. All right, let's give it a go. After contemplating for a while, the hesitation in Lin Dong's eyes finally dissipated before he solemnly nodded his head and spoke deeply. No matter what, for the upcoming family meeting, he wanted to give the most dazzling performance and no one shall stand in his way. When it heard his words, Little Martin nodded his head. Promptly, its eyes somewhat solemnly turned to look at that dark cave before it said, This seal is fairly mysterious. However, the energy source comes from the yin energy gushing out from the ground. Once we shut off the yin energy, this seal will crumble on its own. At that time, when that seal is broken, I shall activate the mysterious stone talisman and seal the blood soul puppet within the stone talisman. Ha, once that blood soul puppet is inside the mysterious stone talisman, it would have to surrender eventually. All right, let me shut off the yin energy. Lin Dong deeply exhaled. Then, he took a step forward while his eyes remained tightly locked on that bloody shadow, that was being held down by several large metallic chains. Next, he twirled his palm before the back hole and his palm started to extend itself. Promptly, he concentrated his mind on that black hole causing it to swiftly extend itself. Woo woo! As that black hole extended itself, swarms of powerful devouring force erupted forth. Instantly, all the yin energy that was gushing out from beneath the ground were swiftly swallowed by the black hole. Not even a trace of yin energy could slip by. Just as the yin energy was shut off, the symbols on the large metallic chance actually started to gradually dim down. Meanwhile, the light flowing across them gradually got weaker until eventually, small cracks began to appear on those large metallic chains. Lin Dong stared solemnly at this sight, while his eyes remained locked on that bloody figure. Suddenly, his eyes shrunk violently. That was because he realized this blood statue had actually suddenly shook. At the same time, an exceedingly vicious shockwave slowly emerged from that bloody figure, and it seemed just like a vicious wild beast that had just awoken. Growl. Standing beside Lin Dong, Little Flame also released a series of deep growls while all the bloody scales over his body started to squirm. It was as if it had also detected an extremely dangerous aura from that bloody figure. XIXI Suo Suo. All of the symbols spread around the cave's walls started to dim down one by one. It seems like the strength of this large formation was swiftly dropping. Hwa la la. As all these symbols starting to dim down, suddenly, 
inside the dark cave, a deafening hualala sound suddenly emerged from the metallic chains. When they heard this sound, Lin Dong and Little Martin's eyes froze. That was because they saw that right now, the bloody shadow that was being tied down by those large metallic chains, was slowly lifting its head. The instant that bloody shadow lifted its head, two blood-red eyes appeared in front of Lin Dong. There was not a trace of emotion within those eyes. Instead, it was filled with endless cruelty and viciousness just like that of a wild beast. Blood Soul Puppet has awoken. As he was being stared by those blood-red eyes, Lin Dong's entire body turned icy cold. At the same time, all of the potent Yuan power inside his body started to quickly gush forth just like a tidal wave. Roar! The redness in that Blood Soul Puppet's eyes intensified. In the next instant, a beast-like growl suddenly sounded out from its mouth. Promptly, it shook its body before it completely shattered all the chains binding onto its limbs. After they lost the power from the seals, those metallic chains would obviously be unable to bind that Blood Soul Puppet. Blood. Blood. That Blood Soul Puppet was dragging along a near one dozen meter long metallic chain. After it was freed by that seal, its blood-red eyes were tightly locked onto Lin Dong's body. The bloody sensation that emerged from the latter's body caused the redness in its eyes to intensify. Hwala! As the red hue in its eyes intensified, that blood soul puppet's figure flashed before it lightning quick appeared in midair above the cave. Then, those large metallic chains brought forth a woo-woo breaking wind sound before they viciously flew towards Lin Dong. Furthermore, at the same time, a peculiar bloody energy was stuck on those large chains. When he saw that Blood Soul Puppet's incoming attack, Lin Dong was stunned. He could sense just how formidable that bloody energy was. Therefore, he naturally did not dare to forcefully counter against it as he quickly retreated. Bang! When those metallic chains were flung against the floor, the entire ground started to vibrate, while a near hundred meter cracks was directly blown apart. This sight caused every hair on Lin Dong's body to stand. If that attack landed on his body, he would probably be ripped apart instantly. Hwalala! After his first attack failed, the redness in that blood soul puppet's eyes intensified. Then, that metallic chains danced just like a giant python as it once again flew viciously towards Lin Dong. Right now, that blood soul puppet had just been freed and therefore its senses were slightly dulled. However, as it slowly recovered, its power became increasingly terrifying. At that time, based on Lin Dong's ability alone, he would not be able to dodge its attacks. Hence, when he saw that it was attacking again, Lin Dong hurriedly shouted out, Little Martin, quickly do it now. Over at the other side, Little Martin's expression was solemn as its claws quickly danced. Suddenly, a white beam flew out from within its claws and hung in midair above the cave. Instantly, a series of milky white light beams poured forth. Once these light beams appeared, they immediately transformed into countless energy threads before they gushed down from every direction. Then, they wrapped themselves around that blood soul puppet and tightly binded it. It worked. When he saw this sight, Lin Dong was instantly delighted. It's not going to be so simple. However, Little Martin chose to shake its head helplessly. Boom! After Little Martin's voice landed, a bloody arm forcefully cut through that cocoon formed from energy threads, just like sharp blade while a terrifyingly killing intent slowly emerged causing Lin Dong's expression to turn increasingly grim. That blood soul puppet's strength was recovering at a terrifying rate. Chapter 338 Sealing the Blood Soul Puppet the blood-colored arm directly thrust out of the energy cocoon. With a vicious tear, the cocoon was split open as it dragged the giant metal chains and slowly walked out of the cocoon like a terrible corpse, while its scarlet eyes stared at Lin Dong. Roar! A beast-like howl sounded out from the blood soul puppet's mouth. As the sound wave swept outwards, it jolted the humongous cave till it violently shook. Crash! After tearing apart the energy cocoon, the blood soul puppet figure moved, transforming into a blurry blood figure as it swept forth. In an instant, 
Lin Dong saw the blood figure appear before his eyes as a giant chain viciously whipped towards his head with an extremely terrifying force. Bang bang! Upon seeing this, Lin Dong was greatly alarmed. With a thought, the ground in front of him directly burst apart, and under the control of powerful mental energy, a wall of earth abruptly jutted out, forming into a defensive layer before him. However, just as the earth wall formed, the giant chain barbarically arrived. Immediately the earth wall crumbled as a ripple which could be seen with the naked eye swiftly spread outwards, causing spider web-like cracks to form on the ground. At this moment, Lin Dong was quickly retreating, his hand grasping around the ancient heavenly scales halberd that appeared. In an instant, his body was covered by a thick layer of glass-colored luster. In the face of such a terrifying and terrible creature, Lin Dong did not dare lower his guard at all. Swish! The earth wall exploded to bits as the blood figure flew out from a sky full of dirt. Giant metal chains were like vipers exiting their caves as they shot towards Lin Dong with the intention to hurt at extremely tricky angles. The Blood Soul puppet's attacks seemed to faintly contain traces of martial arts movements, causing Lin Dong to be incomparably shocked as he made note not to be the slightest bit careless. Ding ding ding! With Golden Yuan power enveloping his body, Lin Dong's halberd danced as the Heavenly Scales halberd technique was displayed in a natural and flowing manner completely blocking all the metal chains that shot towards him. At every clash, astonishing energy ripples appeared, causing crack after crack to extend on the ground. The Blood Soul puppet's strength was extremely terrifying. Fortunately, it had only just broken the seal and hence its power had yet to completely recover. Or else, not only would Lin Dong not have any way to battle it, he would not even have the chance to escape. But even so, Lin Dong was continuously forced back in the clash with the Blood Soul puppet, the force from the ancient Heavenly Scales halberd causing his hands to feel numb. If this continued, he would not last for long. Once again repelling another metal chain, the terrifying force that gushed towards him directly caused Lin Dong to heavily slam onto the cave wall. His body moved as he hastily dodged. Ch. The instant he dodged, a metal chain viciously shot over, deeply burying into the wall as meter-wide cracks swiftly spread out. When he saw this ferocious force, cold sweat covered Lin Dong's head. Bastard, you are still not done. With lingering fear in his heart, Lin Dong could not help but angrily shout at the nearby Little Martin. Endure a little while longer. Little Martin tensely gazed at the ball of white light floating in the upper area of the cave while its claws swiftly danced. As its claws danced, the white light gradually started to squirm, as if it was gathering an exceptionally powerful force. God damn it! When he saw that little Martin still did not plan to step in, Lin Dong could only curse. The ancient halberd in his hand hastily thrust out, blocking a metal chain that ferociously shot over, but his body was once again jolted backwards as he retreated about ten steps, while the chi and blood in his body surged. This blood soul puppet is getting stronger and stronger. As he felt the degree of power behind the blood soul puppet's attack, Lin Dong's expression changed. The blood soul puppet's strength was recovering too rapidly, if this continued, he will not last for long. Blood. I want blood. However, the blood soul puppet did not give Lin Dong too much time to catch his breath. Its scarlet eyes were full of bloodthirst as they stared unwaveringly at Lin Dong. Crash! The blood soul puppet's body trembled as it once again charged forward. This time, it left behind an afterimage in the air, showing how quick it was. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong's expression changed. Just as his figure was about to back away, the blood soul puppet appeared before him, bringing with it the pungent smell of blood. A blood-red arm which looked as if the skin had been torn from it was swift as lightning as it clawed at Lin Dong's throat. Blood light flickered at its fingertips, displaying a sharp force that would not lose to a high-grade soul treasure. This strike of the blood soul puppet was extremely ferocious, and the blood arm rapidly enlarged in Lin Dong's pupils. However, just as Lin Dong was about to defend, the blood soul puppet's body suddenly stopped. 
A giant scarlet red python had shot over from behind and was firmly coiling around its waist, causing it to be unable to advance. Little Flame When he saw the sudden help, Lin Dong felt a little glad in his heart. His gaze shifted and sure enough, he found Little Flame had flung out its python tail and was firmly stopping the blood soul puppet. Roar Little Flame released a roar as blood light erupted from all over its body. It actually directly towed the blood soul puppet before swirling it around twice in the air and viciously flinging it into the cave wall. Boom! The entire cave once again shook as an immense and deep hole appeared on the cave wall. As a demonic beast, the power that it could abruptly bring forth was rather frightening, and even the blood soul puppet was thrown by it. However, although the blood soul puppet had been thrown, it was clearly unable to do any damage to it. Thus, a blood arm once again crawled out from the deep hole as the fiendish aura from the blood soul puppet's body grew increasingly terrifying. Crash! After walking out of the deep hole, the blood soul puppet's arm jolted as a giant metal chain tore through the air and quickly shot towards Little Flame. Clang! However, just as the metal chain was about to hit the Little Flame who was unable to avoid, a black figure suddenly flew out and blocked in front of it allowing the metal chain to slam into its body. Immediately, a metal sound rang out as the figure was directly blown backwards, a huge depression appearing at its chest area. Only when the figure fell to the ground did one realize that it is Lin Dong's high-class symbol puppet. However, this once overwhelming high-class symbol puppet seemed to be no different from a frail sheet of paper in the face of the blood soul puppet. Such strength as he stared at the caved-in chest of the high-class symbol puppet, the corners of Lin Dong's eyes twitched. Kill. An indistinct and hoarse voice sounded out from the blood soul puppet's mouth. It stared at Lin Dong as its body once again flew forward, the chain in its hand spinning like a windmill as it lashed at Lin Dong with terrifying force. Devil Ape Transformation Lin Dong did not dare to be the slightest bit slow-slow when he saw the blood soul puppet's ferocious attack. With a low howl, his body swelled while the ancient heavenly scales halberd in his hand also grew. With the increase in physical power from the devil ape transformation, the ancient halberd in his hand danced causing several after images to be formed as it clashed head on against the blood soul puppet. When Lin Dong directly clashed against the blood soul puppet, Little Flame also roared and charged forward, joining the fight. Together with Lin Dong, they tenaciously held back the blood soul puppet. Boom! In the cave, astonishing ripples of force unfurled like a storm, causing the cave to shake continuously. Huge rocks fell as cracks rapidly extended. A man and a beast worked together while a high-class symbol puppet resisted the blood soul puppet's attacks with its body from time to time. For a time, the battle in the cave was in a deadlock. However, Lin Dong knew in his heart that this deadlock will soon swiftly crumble, because as the battle raged on, the blood soul puppet's strength was rapidly increasing. If this continued, they would only grow weaker making it harder to contend. Bang! As Lin Dong expected, the deadlock did not last for long. The fiendish aura from the blood soul puppet suddenly erupted, metal chains dancing as they quickly slammed into little flames and the high-class symbol puppet's bodies the terrifying force directly blowing them away. Ch. After blowing back Little Flame and the symbol puppet, the blood light in the blood soul puppet's eyes intensified as its sharp blood claw stabbed at Lin Dong's heart. It was practically impossible to dodge against that kind of speed. Little Martin. The speed at which the blood soul puppet attack was so fast that it would cause a chill in one's heart. Even Lin Dong could only vaguely see a red light flash in his eyes and could only roar out. Would he truly die here this time? Swish. The blood light in Lin Dong's pupils rapidly enlarged, however, just as Lin Dong felt a chill on his skin, a rich milky white light suddenly descended from the skies, like a bubble as it encased the blood soul puppet within it. Countless strange ancient symbols flickered on the surface of the bubble. Bang bang bang. Inside the bubble, the blood soul puppet maniacally attacked, but the seemingly weak bubble did not budge at all. Instead, 
it continuously floated upwards before slowly squeezing into the ball of white light under Lin Dong's relieved gaze. The white light gradually dissipated, transforming into a stone talisman in the end as it floated down and landed in Lin Dong's hand. Chapter 339, The Requirements to Level Up The mysterious stone talisman laid quietly on Lin Dong's palm, while a warm milky-like glow slowly scattered off. Under the glow of that light, even Lin Dong's boiling inner blood began to gradually calm down. Did it work? Lin Dong stared in shock at that stone talisman in his palm, as he felt lost for a moment. That vicious blood soul puppet was actually this quickly sealed off? What more do you want? Little Martin's lethargic voice sounded out while it rolled its eyes at Lin Dong. In order to activate the sealing powers of the stone talisman, it had taken quite a bit of its strength. That blood soul puppet has not completely recovered yet. Therefore, with help from the stone talisman, it is not too difficult to seal it. Of course, this was all thanks to the stone talisman. Without its help, no manifestation practitioner can hope to match up against it. Lin Dong was somewhat stunned as he happily nodded his head. After that previous exchange, he clearly knew the strength of that blood soul puppet. Furthermore, at that time, that blood soul puppet was not at its peak condition yet. In the future, if he could completely subdue it, it would definitely be extremely beneficial for him. Let's head into the stone talisman and check out the seal. Lin Dong gripped the stone talisman in his hand, before it gradually fused into his palm. Then, with a flick of his mind, a trace of mental energy immediately headed into the stone talisman. Inside the stone talisman, Lin Dong was hovering in mid-air. At a short distance away from him, was a large air bubble. The air bubble was plastered with numerous symbols which formed into layers of a powerful seal. In the middle of that air bubble, the blood soul puppet was now viciously bashing against it. However, right now it was just like a turtle in the jar. Even though Lin Dong was unable to activate the power of the stone talisman, in this domain, the latter's life was in his control. Lin Dong closely stared at that blood soul puppet inside the air bubble. He could see that the countless symbols surrounding the gas bubble were continuously tunneling into the latter's body. Furthermore, each time those symbols entered into its body, the viciousness in its eyes would dim slightly, as if it was being washed away by those symbols. This seal formation is able to gradually reduce the viciousness of the blood soul puppet. However, right now you are far too weak. Therefore, this step will take quite a long time. Little Martin suddenly appeared beside Lin Dong, before it took a glance at that blood soul puppet, that was struggling furiously inside the air bubble, and said. Put a trace of your mental energy inside the formation. After it spoke, Little Martin continued speaking. Lin Dong nodded his head. Then, his mind moved, before a trace of mental energy floated off and promptly fused with that air bubble. After that trace of mental energy successfully fused, ripples instantly appeared on top of that air bubble. Then, that trace of mental energy was split apart, before it stuck itself onto every symbol and continuously tunneled into the blood soul puppet's body. Right now, your mental energy is slowly penetrating the blood soul puppet's body together with those symbols. As time passes, these mental energy was gradually form a mental energy brand inside the blood soul puppet's body. Once the branding is done, you would be able to completely control this blood soul puppet. Little Martin spoke. Therefore, before it is completely tamed, is there no way to stop it from attacking me? Little Dong gently furrowed his eyebrows. In the near future, he would have to venture to the Lin clan's family meeting. Therefore, without this blood soul puppet as an ace up his sleeve, wouldn't it add an extra degree of uncertainty? Theoretically speaking, yes. Little Martin nodded his head. When it saw Lin Dong's tightly furrowed eyebrows, it lazily waved its claws and said, However, at a truly critical juncture, you can summon it. However, remember this, you cannot do it for a long period of time. Without the stone talisman suppressing it, the blood soul puppet will once again be driven by rage and then it will even bite back. When he heard its words, Lin Dong slightly heaved a sigh of relief. 
Nonetheless, even having momentary control of this blood soul puppet provided him with a great deal of additional security. Though this blood soul puppet is extremely powerful, it has not reached its peak condition yet. After you can completely control it, perhaps we can think of ways to upgrade it, little Martin stared at that blood soul puppet inside the air bubble as it said. Oh? Is there a way to upgrade the strength of this blood soul puppet? Lin Dong was stunned. Right now, this blood soul puppet is already terrifyingly powerful. If it was upgraded, then wouldn't it be able to dominate the entire Great Yan Dynasty? Hehe, <laughs> of course it is possible. However, you will require Nirvana pills to do so. Let me see, soul puppet are split into nine grades just like the nine Nirvana stages. Right now, this soul puppet should be a grade one soul puppet. If it devours another 180,000 Nirvana pills, it should be able to advance to grade two soul puppet. At that time, it would be equivalent to a second stage Nirvana practitioner, Little Martin released a weird laugh as it said. 180,000 Nirvana pills. When he heard its words, Lin Dong's lips instantly started to twitch. Previously, inside the Great Wasteland's ancient tablet, he had fought bitterly just to snatch hundreds of Nirvana pills from Lin Lang Tian. That fact alone was enough to cause the latter to hate him till his bones. However, he never expected that in order to upgrade this blood soul puppet, he would require such a massive amount of Nirvana pills. In fact, even amongst all the elite factions in Great Yan Dynasty, there will only be a rare few that could afford such a sum. Furthermore, right now, you are also at manifestation stage. Hence, you should start preparing to attack Nirvana stage. Based on my calculations, in order to gather enough Nirvana energy to attack Nirvana stage, you would need roughly the same amount of pills as well. Little Martin lazily said. Lin Dong bitterly laughed as he shook his head. Nirvana pills were simply too valuable and they were treated as gems by every practitioner, who had the potential to attack Nirvana stage. Therefore, those Nirvana pills, that would occasionally pop up in an auction, would instantly be swept off the shelves. Right now, even though he was about to obtain two million pure Yuan pills from the Great Devil Sect and other factions, if he used them to buy Nirvana pills, it would hardly even make a difference at all. Let's shelf this matter first. In fact, even an elite faction like the Lin clan would find it difficult to procure such a staggering amount of Nirvana pills. Lin Dong sighed while his head started to ache. It's no wonder there were so little Nirvana stage practitioners in Great Yan Dynasty. It is because, it was so difficult to even gather sufficient Nirvana pills. Furthermore, after painstakingly gathering all these Nirvana pills to attack Nirvana stage, there were no guarantees that one would succeed. In fact, several elite practitioners have failed as they tried to attack Nirvana stage and ended up crashing and destroying themselves. There should be some Nirvana pills stored in the ghastly puppet cult. At that time, even if you chose to take all of them, those great devil sect fellows would probably not object at all. After all, by finishing off the ghastly puppet cult, you have done a huge favor for them. If they dare to object, then you can just take care of them as well. Little Martin said. Lin Dong smiled as he nodded his head. Though he did not dislike those factions like Great Devil Sect, he was not fond of them as well. Therefore, there was no need for him to give them too much of the loot. All right, let's go. Leave this area first and let the Blood Soul Puppet be slowly cleansed by the Stone Talisman. The rewards that we have gained this time have already far exceeded my expectations. Lin Dong waved his palm, before his spiritual body began to gradually dissipate. Then, Little Martin took a glance at that Blood Soul Puppet inside the air bubble, before its body began to gradually disappear from this Stone Talisman spiritual domain as well. Inside the cave, Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes slowly opened. Then, without further ado, he waved at Little Flame before he turned around and walked out of the cave. Lin Dong followed his footsteps and journeyed back. When he exited the cave, he also chose to destroy his path. Finally, he strolled casually towards the mountain peak. 
When Lin Dong once again resurfaced on the mysterious Black Yin Mountain Peak, the previously chaotic situation had now been mostly been cooled down by Great Devil Sect and other factions. Most of their members were rampaging through the ghastly puppet cult headquarters searching for various types of treasures. Standing on the mountain peak, when Mu Lei and the rest saw Lin Dong appear, they immediately stopped what they were doing. Based on their actions, they were evidently extremely respectful and courteous towards him. After today's earth-shattering battle, there were probably no factions in the entire great desolate province that dared to disrespect Lin Dong. Sect leader Mu, it seems like you guys are putting in a lot of effort for the search, Lin Dong smiled as he stared at those burglar-like crew that were ransacking the ghastly puppet cult. Haha, little brother Lin Dong, what are you talking about? When they heard his words, Mu Lei and the rest's hearts skipped a beat, before they turned and looked at each other. Promptly, they simultaneously took out a Kyunkin bag from their sleeves, before they laughed and said, Right now, little brother Lin Dong has advanced to manifestation stage. Based on your cultivation rate, you would probably reach the peak of manifestation stage soon and you would definitely need many Nirvana pills at that time. These Nirvana pills were ransacked from the ghastly puppet cult and right now we would like to present it to little brother Lin Dong as a gesture of friendship. When he saw this situation, a smile appeared on Lin Dong's face. Those guys are indeed quite sharp. Immediately, he unceremoniously grabbed those Kyunkin bags, before his mental energy swept across them. Instantly, he saw bags filled with Nirvana pills. In fact, it seems like there were thousands of them. An entire ghastly puppet cult only has this many Nirvana pills. As he gripped onto those Kyunkin bags, Lin Dong involuntarily shook his head secretly. It's no wonder Tang Sha wanted to form an alliance to gather more resources. Else, based on his savings alone, how long would it take before he could have enough Nirvana pills to attack Nirvana stage? When they saw Lin Dong unceremoniously grabbing those Nirvana pills, Mu Lei and the rest felt somewhat reluctant. They were all at manifestation stage and they also keenly needed these Nirvana pills. However, right now, they understood that notwithstanding these Nirvana pills, even if Lin Dong demanded for something more outrageous, they would also have to agree to his demands. I will stay here for one more day. Tomorrow. Hand me my promised pure Yuan pills and I shall depart. You guys are free to decide on how to divide the ghastly puppet cult's territories. Lin Dong kept those Nirvana pills, before he glanced at Mu Lei and the rest and gently smiled. Where is little brother Lin Dong headed to? If you don't mind, our great devil sect lacks a vice sect leader. Haha, <laughs> right now, my girl is right at marriageable age, when he heard his words. Mu Lei immediately spoke. Father. Standing behind Mu Lei, when Mu Jianqian heard his words, her beautiful cheeks immediately burned. She looked extremely alluring. Standing aside, Mu Lei and the rest were stunned, before they promptly cursed secretly in their hearts. However, they did not have a daughter that was just as attractive, therefore, they could only continuously rub their palms. Haha. <laughs> Thank you for your offer sect leader Mu. However, I will leave Great Desolate Province soon and I may never have the chance to return. Therefore, I cannot accept your generous gift. Lin Dong involuntarily smiled. In order to recruit him, that old fellow even planned to sacrifice his own daughter. Nonetheless, his main target was not in this place. When he thought of this, Lin Dong slowly lifted his head as he stared towards the northern horizon. Lin Lang Tian, two years' time is almost up. However, this time around, do you still have the qualifications to behave disrespectfully in front of me? Chapter 340 Departure The next day, Lin Dong quietly sat atop a boulder on the mysterious Black Yin mountaintop. His eyes were tightly shut while portions of vigorous Yuan power converged around his body at an astonishing speed. The moment these Yuan power touched Lin Dong's body, they would be completely devoured by a strange devouring power, before being transformed into surging Yuan power and flowing in his body. This silent cultivation lasted for about an hour before Lin Dong's tightly shut eyes slowly opened. Without turning his head, 
he asked in an indifferent tone, is everything ready? Could there still be someone in this great desolate province today who dares to not obey young master Lin Dong's instructions? A gentle voice replied from behind Lin Dong. He he, it's Miss Qian Qian. For this kind of small matter, any servant can come to deliver it. Lin Dong could not help but chuckle as he tilted his head and looked at the slender and elegant beauty behind him. There are two million pure Yuan pills here. This number is no small matter even for our great devil sect, but with young master Lin Dong's service this time, this little reward is not worthy. Mu Qian Qian hoisted the purplish black Qian Qian bag in her lily white hand and sweetly smiled. It was just a grudge between me and the ghastly puppet cult, I'll just casually take these rewards. Lin Dong received the Qian Qian bag and stuffed it into his clothes without even glancing at it. Does young master Lin Dong really plan on leaving the great desolate province? With your current popularity in the great desolate province, you will only need to wave an arm to gather a huge number of men and become a tyrant. Mu Qian Qian softly said. I have no interest in becoming a tyrant, moreover, Miss Qian Qian, if I really do so, the one that will be worried will be your great devil sect right? Lin Dong shook his head and jokingly replied. Young master Lin Dong is so powerful, if that happens, worst comes to worst, my great devil sect will just surrender. I believe that we will instead obtain even greater benefits if we follow at young master Lin Dong's side. Mu Qian Qian covered her mouth as she laughed, a heart-fluttering sight. Lin Dong laughed as he once again looked towards the north sky. It was the direction where the Lin clan was. When he was very young, that place had once been a holy land in his heart. After so many years, the current him finally had the strength to visit that place. If my guess is not wrong, young master Lin Dong should be going to participate in the Lin clan gathering right. When she saw Lin Dong's gaze, Mu Jian Qian softly said. Lin Dong did not find it surprising that Mu Jian Qian knew this. After all, she knew that he was from a Lin clan branch family. Moreover, the clan gathering was a brilliant and well-known gathering in the Great Yan Empire. Everyone knew that those who rose above the others in the gathering would be the most outstanding people in the Lin clan. These people would become all-powerful existences in the Great Yan Empire. The Lin clan is a first-class faction in the Great Yan Empire. It has continued for hundreds of years and its foundations are incomparably solid. Although it is rumored on the outside that the Lin clan head only has the strength of the advanced manifestation stage, I am rather skeptical about this. There are definitely many concealed talents in the clan. Mu Qianqian's voice was soft as she slowly said. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head. Although the great desolate province was considered as a great province with quite some reputation, and the ghastly puppet cult and great devil sect were top factions within it, if they were truly compared to a great clan like the Lin clan which had continued since long ago, the difference would be akin to a firefly and the bright moon. In the past, the so-called advanced manifestation stage was practically an untouchable existence for Lin Dong, hence, he did not understand it too clearly. Yet, now that his strength had grown, he increasingly felt that some rumors he had heard of previously were absurd, at least. The power the Lin clan possessed was far from what he had thought. And it was because of this that he tried every means possible to seal the blood soul puppet to gain another card for himself. The Lin clan has talented people in spades, furthermore, the clan gathering is a place where many geniuses cross swords. To distinguish oneself from there will not be an easy matter. Moreover, young master Lin Dong has a very serious grudge with Lin Langtian who has overwhelmingly gifted. Even in the entire Great Yan Empire younger generation, people who can rival him can be said to be existences as rare as a phoenix feather or unicorn horn. There will definitely be a ferocious battle when young master Lin Dong goes forth to participate in the clan gathering. While speaking about the Lin clan gathering, Mu Jian Qian had a solemn expression. Evidently, she knew of this extremely important clan gathering. Why? Does Miss Qian Qian believe that I am not Lin Longdian's match? Lin Dong mildly smiled and asked. Even the advanced manifestation stage Teng Sha died at young master Lin Dong's hands, 
how could I possibly dare to doubt young Master Lin Dong's strength? I only want to remind young Master Lin Dong that he will likely face many hindrances in the clan gathering. Since that is so, why not stay in the great desolate province and make big plans? Mu Qunqin's eyes flowed as she gently smiled. Haha, this great desolate province cannot hold my heart. Since Miss Mu Jianqian does not believe I am Lin Longdian's match, quietly wait for news in the great desolate province, I have never feared anyone in my journey. It does not matter if Lin Langtian is a favored son of heaven, this time, I will make him pay a true price. Lin Dong heartily laughed at the heavens. To think that he was this worthy till Mu Jianqian herself wanted to try to recruit him to join the great devil sect. However, he had no intention of joining them at all. Immediately, he took a look at the time, then without further ado, a whistle sounded out from his lips. Immediately, Little Flame transformed into a bloody glow and dashed over. Mu Jianqian, before I leave, on behalf my request, please ask the Great Devil Sect to take care of the Eagle Marshal Dojo in Great Eagle City. In the future, if the opportunity presents itself, I will definitely repay this favor. Farewell. Lin Dong's figure flashed before he immediately appeared on Little Flame's back. Then, he cupped his fist towards Mu Jianqian, before without further ado, he waved his palm. Then, Little Flame flapped its large bloody wings before it transformed into a bloody flow and disappeared in the near horizon. Sigh, when she saw Lin Dong leaving, Mu Jianqian gently sighed. Forget about it. Lin Dong's ambition does not lie here and nobody can tie him down. This man's talent and abilities rank first among everyone I have encountered over the years. In fact, even compared to the famed Lin clan genius Lin Langtian, he would not lose out. These two legendary figures in Great Yan Empire would be in for a fierce battle, standing behind Mu Jianqian, Mu Lei walked out as he stared at the spot where Lin Dong had disappeared and sighed. Send some men to check up on the Eagle Marshal Dojo that he mentioned and take good care of them. We must accept his favor. Mu Jianqian gently nodded her head as her beautiful eyes stared at the sky where Lin Dong had disappeared at. She knew that in the distant future, an intense fight that would rock the entire Great Yan Empire would occur in the Great Yan Empire Royal City. This fight will let everyone know who exactly is the most prized genius in Lin Clan. A bloody flash howled across the horizon. Lin Dong was seated on a tiger's back as he glanced at the forest rapidly passing beneath him. For a moment, he was actually at a loss for words. In this two years' time, he had climbed mountains and crossed rivers in order to come to the great desolate province. At that time, he was merely a kid who had just advanced to Yuan Dan stage. However, right now, he had already became the top practitioner in Great Desolate Province. In terms of reputation, even Mu Lei, Wu Zong, and the rest could not match up to him. This complete transformation was simply too astounding. Do you plan to directly return to Yan City? Little Martin suddenly appeared on Lin Dong's shoulder and asked. There is only four months left before the clan gathering. I believe that father and the rest would have left a few months earlier. Therefore, if we head to Yan City now, we would miss out on them. Lin Dong shook his head and said. The Lin clan was situated at the Great Flame Province and it was quite far away from the Tian Du Province. Since Lin Xiao and the rest were evidently not as fast as Lin Dong, it would take them several months to get there. Therefore, I would definitely leave in advance. Based on my current speed, it would take me at most one month to reach Great Flame Province. In the remaining three months, I plan to continue training. Lin Dong gradually said. As the clan gathering approaches, his heart began to palpitate. He knew that this time around, Lin Xiao, Lin Zhentian and the rest would all be heading to the Lin clan gathering. At that event, perhaps because of their lowly status, they knew that they would likely be mocked or looked down upon. However, they still chose to go. That was because they believed that this time around, they would be able to hold their chest up in the clan gathering and point at the most dazzling person in the arena and tell others that he is from their Lin family. Lin Dong knew that he was shouldering heavy expectations. Therefore, 
This time around, he could not afford to let them down. He clearly knew just how formidable Lin Langtian was. Hence, this time around, he must go all out and push himself to his peak condition before the clan gathering. You had recently made a breakthrough and even though you are only one step away from manifestation stage, it is very difficult for you to break through again in a short period of time, little Martin solemnly echoed. I want to cultivate Great Sun Thunder Body. Lin Dong stared right at little Martin before he slowly asked, Do you know how to? Right now, he had reached the peak of Jade Thunder Body. However, he had yet to advance to the final step, which is also the most powerful one, Great Sun Thunder Body. If he could successfully master Great Sun Thunder Body, Lin Dong was confident that his physical prowess would once again surge. When it heard his words, Little Martin's eyes turned increasingly solemn. It was exceedingly difficult to train one's physical body. In order to master Jade Thunder Body, Lin Dong had already suffered through much pain. Therefore, if he still wanted to upgrade himself, it would be an exceedingly difficult task. However, Little Martin was also clearly aware of what Lin Dong was thinking of. For this clan gathering, he must achieving an outstanding result. Though it is very difficult, there is a way indeed. However, I must remind you, you will have to suffer, after contemplating for a moment, Little Martin finally opened its mouth and spoke gradually. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong softly sighed in relief, a small smile on his face as he said, as long as I have a single breath remaining, I will not fear even a mountain of blades or a pan full of boiling oil. For the clan gathering, he trained hard since young till this day. With so many years of hard work, how could Lin Dong give up?